Now, Fox 5 weather. All right, let's start the forecast by bringing in Lake Mead and talking water levels. Now, if you've been out to Lake Mead lately, you might be noticing the water level a little bit lower than this time last year. We're actually a little more than 10 feet below where we were last year. And the way the water level is measured is feet above sea level. So we're at 1,085 foot elevation. Now, last year was a bit higher, as we mentioned, more than 10 feet higher than this time last year. But between 2015 and 2019, we're kind of right in that range where we were those years. So even though it is less than last year, it's right in that range we did see 2015 to 2019. Now, so many factors when it comes to the water level of Lake Mead, how much is going out through Hoover Down, how much is coming in from Lake Powell. But the one thing that really feeds the Colorado River system is snowpack. Snowpack in the Rockies to be exact, because all that snow that falls eventually melts and makes its way into the Colorado River. Now, snowpack, it started out pretty slow over the Rockies, but just over the last couple weeks, it's actually improved quite a bit. And over the weekend, major snowstorm in Denver. So that did bump the snowpack for the upper basin around 90 to 100 percent of average. The lower basin not trending quite as high, but 70 to 90 percent of average. So we'd like to have seen these numbers a little bit higher. Last year at this time, we were seeing around 120 to 130 percent of average. But I did want to show you these numbers because uh, a lot of people do wonder how the snowpack is looking in the Rockies because as we head into April and May, that's when we start to see that snow melt occur. And the process begins as it all moves into the Colorado 